we just need to simplify this in a simple LCR circuit and then we can clearly find okay so we have question number five this is question number five this is a very lengthy question I think that so the figure below shows a cold package of hot dogs sliding right rightward across a frictionless floor through a distance d equal to 20.5 centimeter so i'll write d equal to 20.5 centimeter <clears throat> and uh, d is 20 of uh, 20.5 centimeter while well, three forces are applied to it um, so we can clearly see the forces here the magnitude of force is two forces two of the forces are horizontal and have the magnitude f1 is 5 newton and f2 is 1 newton the third force is uh, angled down by theta equal to 65.0 degrees and has the magnitude of 4.00 newton for the 20.5 centimeter displacement what is the net work done on the package by the three applied forces the gravitational force on the package and the normal force on the package mm, okay and if the package has a mass of 2.4 kilograms then and an initial kinetic energy of 0 joules what is its speed and the end of the displacement so i will first look at the solution given by junior tutor um so work done they have calculated okay so they have first resolved these forces so i'll just draw a vector diagram free body diagram for this so let's say this is the point mass or, or the uh, hot dog bag this is f1 and this is f2 this is f3 and the angle is theta here so i'll take the component this will be f3 sin theta and this will be f3 cos theta um it, uh, so the from the figure we can clearly see that the direction of this hot dog bag is in the positive xward direction so I'll just uh, um, take the forces for x direction I'll just sum it up so it will be summation of forces in x direction will be f1 plus f3 cos theta minus f2 let's just calculate this so this will be 5 and then plus f3 is 4 into cos of 65 and f2 is 10 1 1 1 .00. so i'll just calculate this this is 4 times cos of 65 and then plus 5 minus 1 this will be 5.69 newtons and uh, we need to find the work done so work done is going to be summation of fx into the displacement so this is 5.69 newtons and my displacement is 20.5 centimeters so we'll just convert it so this will become 0 0.205 meter times 0 0.205 so it is 1.1665 joules so this is 1.1665 joules I'll just cross check this with the solution here 
okay so 1.166 they have 1.17 and uh, uh, work done by the package we applied force the gravitational force on the package and the normal force on the package so the gravitational force on the package is uh, they haven't calculated the what is the net work done on the package by the three applied forces the gravitational force on the package and the normal force on the package okay so the thing is that the gravitational force is going to be in downward direction which will be mg and uh, the normal force is going to be obviously in the upward direction so the thing is that uh, the displacement is in positive x direction and the formula for work done is uh, it is like f into displacement into cos of theta so the f direction is you know, like this will be downwards and the displacement direction will be in the uh, positive x direction and this will be 90 degrees so uh, because of this gravitational force uh, the work done will be zero because cos 90 is zero so we won't be taking any component uh, we won't be taking considering the normal or and the weight but uh, if it was a friction like it if it had any friction then we would have definitely taken the normal but here we won't be taking it so the first part is done and if the package has a mass of 2.4 uh, kilograms and an initial kinetic energy of zero joules what is the speed at the end of the displacement so work done is nothing but change in kinetic energy and k1 is given as zero i can just write ki minus uh, kf minus ki kinetic this is final kinetic energy minus uh, initial kinetic energy so ki is given as zero so i'll just write work done we have already calculated which is 1.1665 1 kinetic energy will be half m v square m is given which is 2.4 so this will be 1.1665 1 equal to half of 2.4 v square i'll just multiply this both the sides with the 2 divide both the sides with 2.4 so i'll get 1.165 1 into 2 over 2.4 equal to v square i'll just take square root on both the sides this will become into 2 divide 2.4 and then square root of answer 0.9859 so velocity will be 0 0.9859 meter per second and let's check the solution also given here so k2 minus k1 final minus initial and then they have got 0.987 so we have got 0.9859 because we took the value the work done as 1.165 and they took the work done as 1.17 so this much of error is acceptable and the solution given here is correct so i'll just say correct solution good work um